Chairman Mao on the Chinese side and President Nixon on the American side said, let's put aside the quarrels of technical subjects. Let's concentrate on talking to each other about where we want to go. So that way we can understand what we're trying to achieve. And when you read the first conversations between these leaders, they talked almost like philosophers. Uh, we had to overcome a number of established principles, say on Taiwan, uh, but it happened. And it happened in a friendly atmosphere. And it laid the basis for uh, 40 years of, on the whole, improving relations. One, the United States recognizes only one China, and, and not only in words, but in deeds. So our policy should be a one China policy. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the United States has a concern for a peaceful evolution of this uh, of this desire we have no benefit from using the issue of taiwan with china i think it is essential for china and the united states to think of each other as potential partners not as potential adversaries and to solve their disputes on the basis of long-term cooperation. If we do not do this, the whole world will be divided and other countries will be tempted to take advantage of that situation. And with modern technology and with the needs of the populations on both sides, it is essential that cooperation it's the basic principle. I've noticed that when Chinese say somebody is an old friend of China, mm -hmm. it establishes a certain relationship, and I'm proud of that. <laughs>